Okay, so as promised, I am going to be showing you guys how I do my little assembly line over here and how I organize all of my washi for my shop. So today, um, I just chose this order as an example. I'm putting things on their what, contact information and addresses and things because y'all don't need to know that. And um, anyway, so I print out two different items. This is actually the individual's packing slip and then this is for my reference. So I actually have like SKU numbers for all of mine and I categorize them. So like animal 0002, animal 00019. So it tells me what this individual wants on their order and let's go look at my categories. I have some of them out here because this is my last order that I'm filling for today. But um, this is how I categorize them in here. And this cabinet, sorry, it's like a kind of a hot mess at the moment. This cabinet is uh, the Billy bookcase from Ikea. And um, I have some doors on them. And um, the knobs are not from Ikea. I think I got those at like Marshalls or something. And um, I have these washi organizers. And then I have my category right here. So it just tells me what category I am looking for. So right now we are looking for animal and we're looking for pretty low numbers in animals. So right now I have two animal. This one I know is the higher numbered one. So we're gonna pull out the bottom one, which is the fuller one. That's the one I need. So this is what I need. So let's pull out the proper animal ones out of here. So I'll show you guys what I do. So, um, let's see, animal 002. So here's how I have them organized. And um, I just put these little tabs, and these are ones that are sold out. I keep these in case I find the washies again and I wanna relist them or something, so I do keep those. But right now we're looking for the mouse heads, which are 002, so I just grab one of them and reconfirm that yes, that is what they want, and they only want one, so I'm gonna put it right here. And then next is gonna be the elephants, and it's animal 0019 so number 19 these ones are kind of kitty wampus in here but uh here we go number 19 confirm that it's the right thing we are good to go so yeah that's kind of how i do this um let me fill the rest of this order and then i will show you what i do at the end all right so now that i have my little pile here i like to go down and make sure that I've checked off all of them and then I double check the quantities, make sure that they want just one or sometimes they want several. Um, I filled an order today that had five of the same one. I take my little stamp here and it says packed by the favorite daughter. And I put that on there. And everyone's favorite stamp seems to be this one, the Judged by Doyle. I try to put this down at the bottom. So there we go. And it is true, this was Judged by Doyle. Hey, Doyle, did you just judge the package? Good job, buddy. Good job. So now the stamps are on. I'm going to be putting everything in this little cello bag along with my business card. And then I'm also going to use one of these seals. I will show you what it looks like in just a second. All right, so here is the finished product of what the customer gets from me. And then everything is packed in here. Um, right now, I have some extra washies that I'm giving away in my orders. Um, this is not something I do super regularly, but I just have some random washies. And um, it all gets packed into here. I have their packing slip in there, so I know who to send it to. Um, because now, I am going to put all the shipping labels on all of the packages that I have. Um, right now, unfortunately, I do not have a label sticker maker, so it's just a piece of paper and I put clear scotch tape over it. So. I don't know. No one seems to mind. It still gets there. So anyway, that is how I fill my Etsy orders. I know a lot of you have been curious, but that's how it happens. And just for another quick look, sorry, the sun is just crazy today. It's pretty early in the morning right now and the sun is blaring in, but um, that is how I organize all of my different categories. And that seems to work for me pretty, pretty well. And I really, really like this organization. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, I got all of my clear plastic containers at Michael's. All right, so I'm gonna move on with my day, but I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. There's a doggo behind me. He has been so clingy today. He's just wanted to be in the same room with me all day long, all day long. So I don't know. I don't know if he's like worried about me or I should be worried about him. I don't know, it's just very strange. Very, yeah, uh, not super out of character, but kind of out of character for this one. He'll get up on that chair in a little bit probably. 
But anyway, it's like really late at night, you guys. I took those clips of me packing orders pretty early uh, this morning, and then I just did like domestic things and, you know, finished up, um, or actually I did all the laundry and things like that. And then I did one of my favorite things. I took a shower in the evening. So I took a shower, I don't know, a couple of hours ago. My hair is still um, just a little bit, a little bit wet. Um, but one of my favorite, favorite things is taking a shower and then putting on pajamas and going to sleep. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, something about being like fresh and clean and getting in the sheets. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's totally my jam. But it's currently 10.15. I'm up in the office. I swear I've left the office today. And um, I just made myself a delectable treat. And uh, got it right here. Hold on. I don't want to spill it. It's still really hot, so I haven't had any yet. But this is my hot cocoa. And um, if you guys watched one of my other Vlogmas videos, I did like a gift wrapping thing. And... Um, that is what I'm currently drinking. I get the, they're like tins from Williams Sonoma, and this one's actually the peppermint one. Um, it's just like a hot chocolate. It's like chocolate shavings. So this one is the peppermint one. So it's it's actually chocolate shavings, but they have like some peppermint flavor to it. And then I also have two other tins that are just the plain hot chocolate. Um, so they're good for like a year. Um, so I stock up during the holidays because the only time William Sonoma has them. So anyway, but I love them. They're so good. They're so yummy. It's just delicious. And I um, just warm up some milk on the stove and then I put it in there and then it's very hot right now. So I'm gonna give it a minute. But um, anyway, the internet decided to work for me today. So that's fabulous. Um, I have been editing videos throughout the week, but my internet has just been like really shoddy and it ta apparently it takes a lot of internet power to upload videos. So I actually was able to upload quite a few today. I've only published two. So I published, oh, I don't even remember what I published today that bad <laughs> I think because I've been in like editing mode today as well just to kind of like get caught up on stuff let's see um I posted okay so I posted day seven of vlogmas and then also my December monthly budget um I've been trying to upload this December monthly budget for a while and it just wasn't working so um I don't know I've had lots of conversations with my internet provider and then Finally today, it started working, but I had to like unplug and re-plug in my router thing, so I don't know, it's just, it's just annoying. But that's okay. It's on the men. They're like, oh yeah, it'll be up in less than 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. No. So, anyway, Saturday. Saturday was the day. I've already got day 10 and day 11 edited and ready to go, so those are going to be published probably tomorrow. And then I've got some other, I've got one other non-vloggy video or actually no two other non-vloggy videos to uh put up at some point as well that are on my desktop so yeah it's very exciting but um let's see if doyle oh doyle left me oh no oh no doyle left oh, that guy that guy but um tomorrow i will be taking you guys for a little tour of the office there's a few things i need to like not clean up, but just put in the right spots because it's just been like sitting out. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow for you guys um, because today I showed you kind of how I pack orders. So I don't know, it's kind of always a interesting process of how people like organize all their things and whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of fun to go behind the scenes. But I am going to enjoy my late night treat of a little hot, 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 hot chocolate. And um, I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the peek inside of my Etsy business, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.